Good morning, gentlemen. Let's focus on wrapping up the um, master PowerPoint. So this is what we need to do. One of the things uh, I was going to do is I was going to have you compile and summarize expert feedback, but we don't have enough to really work with yet. So I've sent out emails again. If you haven't reached out to your experts, please use the bit.ly listed here. And it is case sensitive, so it's bit.ly slash 2020 EDD and that way we can get some expert feedback so be sure to reach out to those folks and we'll go from there so we're going to wrap up the master powerpoint the portions that we need to develop further are the conclusions and recommendations and the thank yous this should have been pretty much solidified for your presentation videos but i would like you to um, kind of expand on that and then questions and then external evaluations, reflection on process, reflection on prototype type trade show and appendix. So let's look at what that might look like. So this would be starting from my testing results from the uh, one that I did in training. So on the conclusions document, what you're looking at is did your um, did your solution solve the problem? Go through each one of your specifications. And what I did here is I used a color code to show it green, it did it, blue, it could be, it could do it, and then red is it didn't quite make it. Also in the conclusions, consider, we'll just briefly kind of outline some additional requirements that may have been identified. And for you guys, a lot of it is just careful, critical analysis of your initial prototype. And you guys if you didn't have any uh, testing done then I expect you to have a second version of the prototype just based on reflection on the initial version recommendations so what would you do differently if you could do it again is what you're basically saying all right so if you were gonna send it through or have someone else do your project what would you advise them to do oh look at that we kind of had something like that you've already been working on Thank you. Be real specific in here. Uh, if you if someone really helped you, then throw it out there. Just kind of mention and then what they did for you. Questions. You should have some feedback. Uh, with feedback, you should have some questions. I would like you to tackle about three to five. Three if you worked solo. About five if you worked with a teammate. But actually, put the questions in here and your response. The title and two column layout is really useful for that. You can put the question on the left side and your response on the right. Don't make up stuff. For external evaluations, uh, if we would have done the presentations in a real in the real world, we would have had paper copies of uh, information from feedback. Instead, we're going to have to use the digital versions. You can't really respond to this until you get the those results back. So allocate space in your presentation and we'll fill this in next week next week but you can respond to this on the reflection on process you need to think about things that were awesome and things that were not so great so and this is in the overall process of this year and obviously covid was a uh, was an issue so again don't complain just highlight what you did instead of or how you how we responded in this uh, during this challenge reflections on your prototype these are your thoughts and you've already kind of addressed this previously um, what you would do differently but this is another critical analysis on your prototype what are some uh, improvements you could make so list those out you could uh, do some real quick sketches and diagrams and that sort of thing to help you along so what could you do to make it better or what are some what are some challenges or limitations that your prototype has you know, we had several pages of that so there is a section for trade show and in the way we were supposed to do this we would have done this with a uh, with threefold posters and you would have had a form that people filled out so what you're going to do here is just explain how you worked with your partner to produce videos to get expert feedback and that will be enough there instead of 
trade show feedback. So you can just explain, hey, we made these videos, we reached out to experts, and uh, I'll share the questions with you later, and you can kind of talk about those. And so what we can do is, in the evaluation portion, you're going to focus on feedback that was specific to your project. And for the trade show portion, you can talk about making the videos and the form, and we can address the questions and look at some of the metrics from uh, that form. For appendix, anything, any pictures, any drawings, any content that you produced that you didn't use in this in the PowerPoint already, put it in here. For instance, we had some drawings that we didn't use. So these were some of our initial initial tech drawings, technical drawings that we made, but we didn't actually use those. So we had some good ideas. We didn't want to lose that work. We just wanted to hang on to it. And like here's a parameter we missed. So we wanted to make sure that the feeder was goat proof, and obviously that's not very goat proof. So, but appendix is going to be anything that you did, or any pictures or images or thoughts you have that are significant that are not captured in this power presentation anywhere else. So that's going to be the wrap up of the presentation. Let's look over those sections one more time. So we're going to have conclusions, recommendations, thank yous, and questions. You should have this pretty well developed. Add your question responses into your PowerPoint, so three to five questions. Uh, external evaluations, we're getting that, but you can reflect on your process and reflect on your prototype. And for trade show, we're going to do your videos and we'll include some questions from the uh, forms and some data from there. And then appendix, anything that you did that is not already in your master PowerPoint that you want to hang on to. So work on this and we will have some feedback by next Tuesday. So that's what I need you to do. Thank you, gentlemen.